If you're bored of crunches and want to learn a new way to burn belly fat, then hula hooping is great. That's why we're here at Hoop Nautica in Venice, California to learn three belly blasting moves that you can do at home with a hula hoop. We're here at Hoop Nautica with Jackie Becker. Jackie, tell us why is hula hooping a great exercise? Waist hooping alone has been proven to burn 400 to 600 calories an hour. So this is no joke. It's on par with cardio kickboxing and cardio boot camp classes, but it's way more fun. And what makes it so effective is that you literally can't stop moving because the hoop will drop. So it gives you this automatic biofeedback the moment that your body starts to get lazy. And you are known for getting Kelly Osborne into really great shape before the red carpet. How did you do that? We were a couple weeks out of the Golden Globes. She, you know, wanted to see some improvement in the belly and in the arms for that gorgeous strapless dress that she wore. And hooping is really great for targeting that belly fat. Why is that? Well, that's the region that needs to engage to keep the hoop in motion. So not only is it requiring recruitment from those major muscle groups, but it's pulling in all the little ones around them as well. Great, we show some moves? I'd love to. First, I'll actually walk you through how to keep the hoop up and waist hooping. Sound good? Perfect. So we're gonna get into our perfect posture with one foot in front, doesn't matter which one. Bend the knees and tuck the pelvis in so that we're standing up nice and tall. You're going to draw your fingers up along that forward leg and poke in just above your hip bone. That's your front push. And then you're gonna take your other hand and press into the back on a perfect diagonal. So what we're doing is providing some sensory information for the body in terms of where we're going to push into the hoop. So forward and backward on this angle, but a little faster. Forward, backward, forward, backward. So you have to give yourself permission to feel a little ridiculous when you first start. Permission granted. From here, we're going to let the hoop start first. It'll rotate once or twice. And then we're going to work immediately into those quick pushes forward and backward. Keep your upper body lifted. Keep your tail tucked. Gorgeous. Shoulders are relaxed and down. And we can already extend the arms out to the side, which will bring some really nice toning benefits for the arms. We all know that interval training is a great way to get a killer workout, and we can incorporate that into our waist hooping. So it's going to look like this. Let's start in our forward stance, one foot's in front, and you can join me here. Beautiful, find into your rhythm, and let's, from the very beginning, extend the arms nice and long so that we're reaching through the fingertips. Here we go, raise the arms overhead, and we're going harder and faster for four, three, two, one and slow it down and breathe. Beautiful. This is one of those moves where if you're doing eight sets at four counts regular speed, four counts high intensity, you're gonna be in great shape. This next move is a variation of waist hooping, but it's going to happen in what we call side stance. So the feet are just wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna turn the toes out at about a 45 degree angle. The knees, just like before, need to remain bent, the pelvis tucked, the upper body lifted. Now, instead of pushing forward and backward, we're pushing to the sides. So with the upper body perfectly still, we unleash the hips to rock into these side pushes. Notice that you've gotta go a little harder and faster just to keep the hoop in motion. Extend the arms nice and long, relax the elbows, relax the fingertips. And we're gonna come into a little plie with this. Lowering down, keeping your tail tucked, Hooping is such an effective workout that it doesn't require a lot of sets. This is way more fun than crunches, though. Yes, it really is. You know, and I can actually feel my arms getting a workout just because of the tension, right? By having your arms long out to the sides or up overhead, we're forcing the heart to work a little harder to deliver the blood to the extremities. All right, what's the third move? It's called a ninja pass, and it's a great move for targeting into the oblique muscles the side abdominals that create that gorgeous hourglass figure that we're all lusting after. We step the feet wide into a plie stance, the toes are angled out, and we wanna bend the knees down into a nice low plie so that even while we're working our abdominals, we're going to get a really strong inner thigh workout as well. We're gonna take the hoop in the right hand, palm down, and we're gonna roll it across the belly from hand to hand. I'm gonna to start to rotate my torso, from side to side. So this is where we target into the obliques. The hoop is stopping against the lower back on each side. And now we're going to start to reach the opposite arm across so that we deepen the stretch. To get a little deeper into the lower body, just bend those knees into your plie. Squeeze that belly. We've got just two more on each side. Last one and come up nice and tall. How'd that feel? Good. How many sets do we have to do? You know, it varies depending on what your goals are. And when you're first starting as a beginning hooper, 
I always say, give it five minutes in the morning, hooping to your favorite song before work. Come home at the end of the day, pop on another song and hoop for another five. It's a beautiful way to just start feeling into the hoop and then it becomes addictive. Wonderful. So if you even spend just 20 minutes watching TV and hula hooping, you're going to see some benefits from it. Absolutely. Within a couple of weeks. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for showing us these moves. This is so much fun. Yeah. It's been such a pleasure. Thank you so much. And thank you for watching New Beauty.